Cactus thoughts uncovered, cactus emoji, thought bubble emoji. Imagine a little cactus, basking in the desert sun, suddenly wondering, if a needle pricks me and no one's around to see, would I even feel hurt? Welcome to the mind-bending world of sentience, where the question isn't just can I feel, but how can I know anyone or anything else can? Sentience is the ability to experience feelings, sensations, and maybe even thoughts. But philosophers have long debated, how do we know if plants, animals, or even other people truly feel what we feel? This puzzle has a fancy name, the problem of other minds. Basically, we know what it's like to be ourselves, but can we ever really know what it's like to be a cactus, or even someone sitting next to us? Let's go back to our cactus. Maybe it flinches when poked, or turns toward the sun, but is that proof of pain, or just a desert dance? Scientists can measure reactions, but feelings are invisible, tucked away in private experiences. It's a classic philosophical pickle, we might never unlock the secret inner world of another being, no matter how many needles or sunshine rays are involved. So next time you see a cactus, or your pet, or even your little brother, remember, sentience is the grand mystery that keeps us all guessing. The only mind you can truly know is your own, and that, my prickly friend, is what makes the philosophy of sentience both frustrating and fascinating.